my sweet loves happy tuesday hope you are doing well today wanted to take some time to share this download with you uh, while i am sitting here it's a little bit overcast today uh, a little bit cooler it seems like i'm out of my hoodie i'm back in my hoodie i'm out of my hoodie i'm back in my hoodie <laughs> this is a wonderful time for you to be really um, gearing up for the month of March, all right? The month of March is gonna open up some amazing doors for you. I wanted to share something with you. As you all know, I posted a pic of myself at the uh, at the airport, actually my luggage at the airport, um, because I had a contract in the state of Minnesota. And so uh, as I flew to Minnesota to complete that contract, on my way home, um, I actually was driving back. Um, and when I was driving back uh, from Minnesota, um, at, one thing that I knew I would probably run into was inclement weather. I had already checked the weather ahead of time. And, and this is going to help some of you as you are moving uh, and transitioning. I talk about transition all the time. We're always transitioning from one thing to another. So as you're moving and transitioning, I believe that this is going to help you. As I was traveling, I ran into snow uh, between Indiana and West Virginia. So that's Indiana, Ohio, West Virginia. There was off and on snow. It was heavy at times. But as I was uh, driving, that is usually a very meditative space for me. It is a very peaceful time. It is a very reflective time. I think that is why I chose to do a business where I am over the road, okay? Um, it is a time of reflection. It is a time of communion and union with Holy Spirit. So as I was traveling and I began to see the snow, and uh, I, I, I automatically knew, okay, I knew I was running into it. I knew it was coming, all right? But the only thing I needed to do was slow down, okay? That was it. The snow did not stop me. I want to help a few of you today. The snow didn't stop me. There were accidents all over the place. There were people in ditches, folks that them ran out the road. All I had to do was just slow down. That's it. Now, if in fact I would have had to uh, maybe stop at a hotel and stay the night, I would have done that if it would have gotten bad. But I wanted to go ahead and get that run completed so that I could position myself that if another run came available by the time I got to my destination, which was over 1,100 miles away, <laughs> I wanted to be prepared and ready and in that city, ready to go. All right. I never had to stop. Only thing I had to do was slow down. Okay. I want to share that with you because something Holy Spirit spoke to me, even in regards to my transition. You can have a lot of different things on the table and you could see yourself doing many, many, many things all at the same time. Your sight is very, it, it is long and it is wide, but you only can do one thing at a time. You only can walk in one door at a time. And, and the thing that got me from Indiana through Indiana, Ohio, West Virginia, okay, the thing that got me through those three states is just slowing down. I never had to really stop. When I stopped, I stopped to gas up, and that was it. And then I was on my way again, all right? I did not get, now when I got to my destination, because of all the slowdowns, it put me about 45 minutes later, about 45 minutes later than what I anticipated, but I still got there. I still got there. I was able to drop off that load, and then I was able to make my way to my resting place, okay? I want to share that with you today because in life and even in the spaces that you're destined to be in, there are going to be slowdowns. There's going to be some things that, that, that are, uh, con are considered to be inclement weather, all right, in your transitioning. You're going to see other people uh, fall off on the side of the road, or you're going to see other people that have stopped because they're going so fast so quick trying to do so many things at once that they're burning themselves out 
or that they're getting somewhere and they don't have all of the tools that they need to, to hold their position in that place. You're going to see a lot of that as you are transitioning. Your job is just to slow down. Know that you can't go into but one door at a time and start taking this journey and your communion with Holy Spirit with ease. All right? There is no rush. There is no rush. And you don't have to rush yourself. All right? Know that this transition of abundance and success and open doors, it happens one step at a time. It doesn't matter how far you can see ahead. What you see that's afar off may not be happening right now, but if you slow down and take your time, you're going to get there. I know a lot of people would tell you, speed up, hustle, grind. I do not ascribe to hustle and grind. I do not. <laughs> I do not ascribe to burning myself out, trying to get somewhere, because I already know wherever I'm destined to be, I'm going to get there at the appointed time. Everything is going to happen at the right time. You rushing it isn't going to speed it up any. And that's in every area of, a, of your life, whether it be love, whether it be relationships, friendships, um, business, career, rushing isn't going to get you there any quicker. So you may as well take your time. And like I did between Indiana, Ohio, and West Virginia, enjoy the scenery. I was looking at the beautiful snow, looking at the mountains, looking at the countryside. I was enjoying the view, even though I wasn't going as fast as I would be if there wasn't any snow on the ground. I knew that I would get to my destination. So family, I love you. I need you to love yourself more than me, and I'll see you on the next download. Toodles.